And new at five, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey touring parts of East Bruton today. That area devastated by an EF2 tornado that touched down Saturday morning. The state says about 200 homes were affected, more than a third of them heavily damaged or destroyed. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey was there as the governor surveyed the damage and met with storm victims. Governor Ivey began her tour here on one of the hardest hit streets in East Bruton. Family members tell us that two people are still hospitalized after they were thrown from their mobile home that was here, but ended up all the way across the street. You don't have any damage. It was boots on the ground for Governor Kay Ivey today in East Bruton. They are alive. God's good. We're pulling for you. Ivy heard firsthand from storm victims like Kimberly Smith, who for a moment feared the worst when she pulled up to her home moments after the tornado struck. I couldn't see my son's ring. And I just kept going. It tore my car up, I don't care. This thing's, you know. But we're alive. The damage in East Bruton is extensive. Dozens of structures were damaged, including W.S. Neal High School. I would say it would be in excess of a million dollars worth of damage. Most of it isolated to the auditorium, which just underwent a $2 million renovation. The superintendent says the damage won't impact the school year. We've uh, been able to assess enough to know that uh, we'll be ready for school whenever uh, we start back. Ivy today stressed the importance of neighbors continuing to help neighbors as the state works to find more ways to assist victims. We've seen a whole lot of destruction that certainly occurred in a very short amount of time, so it just proves the point that we all need to stay weather aware. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, why the governor says it is imperative that storm victims report all the damage. Reporting in East Bruton, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.